And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, okay. Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Of course. Uh, six. <laughs> Two, eight, four, five. Oh man, that's so bright. Okay, you guys, welcome to the Stanley Parable. This is a relatively old game. Uh, this is actually a remastered version that came out in, like, I think 2013. And just by the loading screen, you can already kind of tell that it's a little bit of a uh, weird game with that computer within a computer within a computer within a computer within a computer. This game is solely based on the choices that you make. So you can decide where the story goes. There's a narrator who kind of tells what's happening in the story. You can either choose to do what he says or you can go your own different route. It's pretty interesting. Let's get started. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. So now we can finally gain control. So yeah, like you said, uh, nobody's here right now. Everybody in the office left, so All of we gotta go look for them. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So I think what I'm gonna do for this round is um, actually do what he says. Uh, I hate Mondays. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna do what this guy says, um, and then in some future videos we will completely go against him. When Stanley so came funny. to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on yeah. his left. So, if you wanted to be a rebel, you could go through the right door, but I'll do the left. Just, just because I want to make him happy now and then completely uh, ruin his life later. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. That's right, on these boards. We have employee 417. Or 427. Boring stuff. Oh, PowerPoint. Everyone is unique. You must... Oh, Thank you! Number of slides on this slide. Uh... S slides, charts, and slides, charts. Okay, yeah, we're out of here. Broom closet. I might show you guys what happens in there a little bit later. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's yeah. office. So this is another time where you can disobey him. You can go down here or go up. You're going up. And don't, don't even bother trying to open those doors. It's not going to work. It's over here. Executive bathroom? I'm executive. I want to go in the bathroom. Uh, 
Man, we can't open any of these doors. Golly. Hmm. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once Yo. again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Oh. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, okay. Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Of course. Uh, six. <laughs> Two, eight, four, five. Two, eight. Stanley just four. sat around twiddling his thumbs. Are you kidding Trying me? Trying to input I'm... anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was two, eight, four, five. <sighs> All right, before you get I'm sassy with me. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Yay. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. This manager is pretty sketchy that he's got this huge room next to his office. Like, what the heck? The world is over here. Absolutely nothing. This game's so dark. Whoa. Now we're going down here. Hopefully, all our problems will be solved here. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years yeah. it had never occurred to him? Yeah. This question Never would not go that. unanswered for long. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez, can it get, like, any darker? Oh my gosh. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh. What the heck? I mean, we, we could just go down here and escape. But I don't trust that. Ah! We're going into the mind control facility. So I guess we have to uh, press the biggest, grayest button in here. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Well, well, well yeah. Like, are you kidding me? We need to figure out the secrets to this building. Now what the monitors the... jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This is wacky. Another button. Wait, this mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Oh. I see. Oh, my gosh, that's our office. No. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. No. It was never. unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Probably, I mean. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he 
would dismantle the controls once and for all. Now, there are some buttons over here that we can just push, but they have absolutely no purpose. This is a fun room, hey! Yeah, yeah, okay. Fun times, man. Fun times! Wait, hold on. Oh, we need to press number five. Five times. For good luck. We need to sneak into the room. Just in case there's there's a man looking for us. Okay, no. Okay, let's go in. Mind controls idle awaiting input. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. We can press on or off. Off. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Probably. What the? Yes. What the? Oh. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Oh, but as out. sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. It's actually really pretty. It's going to the parking lot. What? Stanley oh. felt the cool breeze upon his skin. Okay. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Well, that's the that's the first ending. The real ending. Now, if you guys don't know too much about this game, there are like 20 different endings to this. There's just so many different things that you can find in this game. Yeah, so we might have quite a few videos of this game just showing you different endings and maybe silly little things that you can do. I don't know everything myself, so I might have to look some stuff up. Anyway, I think that's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching the first video of the Stanley Parable. If you liked it, make sure you give it a like down there. Make sure you comment on this video saying if you want more or if you've played this game before and if you like it and make sure you subscribe buttons down there. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you get notified for when we upload. Make sure you share this video with your friends and your family. Make sure you just share the whole channel with your family and friends because that really help out. All right, you guys, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.